guys welcome back to my channel I have a super huge haul for you guys today I know I know I didn't upload anymore you know the end of the year is just trying me the whole editing and then I got sick after the editing and then I did that after the editing software saga thing and then I did that video for you guys I uploaded it and I was ready for the week to have videos for you guys and I get sick <laughs> Yeah, lucky me, I get sick. And I was like, you know what? I need to take every tea, every medicine, every hauls, everything I can take to get better quickly because I don't want to be sick for Christmas. And I still have like an annoying cough. So if I get a cough attack, I will be sure to cut that out because I know you guys don't want to hear that. I have a collective haul because it's very collective. Um, a lot of the things are from Cyber Monday, a couple of things. Um, you know, Black Friday didn't buy nothing they didn't really get me but cyber monday they got me <laughs> from a few brands and i was like you know what mm, this is the time to place an order because the sale is pretty good so that's what i have for you guys today um if this is my last video of 2019 i just want to give you guys a big thanks for supporting me and supporting my channel but mainly supporting me um leaving me feedback leaving me sweet comments always being so patient with my crazy ass you know uploading which wasn't consistent my goals for the new year are definitely you know a lot has to do with with youtube and having content for you guys but also being very consistent so let's get on with the haul because i know it is going to be a long one i'm sorry i don't like to accumulate all this stuff for so long because then it becomes a long ass video but this is where we're at so let's get started with accessories i have you guys know i love hoops these i got them at ross and they were 8.99 it's like a rose gold chunky like beaded hoop and I actually really really like them I can't wait to wear them you guys know hoops are my favorite style of earrings to wear and then I got these at forever 21 these were $6.99 and they are kind of like hoops but they're the little clip-ons so they're kind of gonna stand out this way instead of going like back so I like that and I'm excited you know the bling I always love the bling and recently I got this uh clip at Burlington and it just says Jador. So cute. It's one of those clippies that I like to wear. Um, I just like that it has the wording and I don't know, it's just super cute. It was only $4.99. And then I got at Ross a pack of scrunchies. Um, I actually wear these on my hair, not just on my wrist. These are $3.99. And I needed some more like simple colors because the ones I have are like neon, <laughs> neon yellow, neon green, neon orange. So I wanted, you know, this is like a mauvey pink burgundy berry shades and gray ones i was looking for a black pack but i didn't find any which is why i got that one and then like tech accessories i got two pop sockets this one is from aliexpress it came in today it's kind of like the chanel flower inspired super cute i think it was like two bucks and that's where i got it from and then this one you guys know i love the disney villains like love this is the what is it the poison apple uh pop socket in this one i got it at hot, hot topic yesterday so if you're interested probably still available then we got this bag and then i got this bag from aldo and this was my little bag for like my party bag for babe's christmas party i don't like to carry huge bags because it's more of a like uh like a how do you say it it's like a fancier event um so this was just perfect for my outfit and with my earrings super cute then i got this backpack which i was excited for yeah this is a michael kors backpack i really really like this one i had been wanting one but i wanted something longer and a little more flat because the ones i have are like small and like a little more chubby the backpack so i wanted something longer and this is flat and when you're wearing it, it doesn't look like a huge ass backpack which is why i like this style so so much i like that it's you know a little plain from the front well it's a lot plain but that's what i like and this is actually a working pack working pack, working bag and i have my moko tissue and some vapor rub because like i said i've been sick so yeah this one super super cute i really like the style of it now let's move on to the makeup because the makeup is probably the majority of the chunk of this haul. So first off, I have something from Sephora. 
I told you guys in my last haul, I think, that I needed to exchange the Too Faced foundation that was too orange for me. And I exchanged it for things that I wanted. Um, I got the Big Volume Lash Trio from Lancome. And I told you guys, this is my absolute favorite mascara. Like, love it so much. And their Bifacial Double Action Eye Makeup Remover is probably the best liquid eye remover that I have tried that doesn't irritate my eyes and it doesn't make them burn so that's why I love this little set it was just so cute like I'm so happy this is the Sephora cream lip stain collection kit which comes with two four six six liquid lipsticks and the formula of their liquid lipsticks is a Amazing. Now this one does have two metallics, which personally I don't like metallic lipsticks, but I will definitely be giving those away. And it's still such an amazing deal for four of them. This was only $28. They're individually $14. So that's like paying for two liquid lipsticks and getting all six, like getting four more because... I just, I can't. This is was such a steal. Let's move on to a few like random purchases. So from Target, I purchased a new Wet n Wild makeup sponge. Why? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna front. These are all my dirty makeup sponges. I don't use them because they're dirty and I just haven't washed them because I've been a lazy bum. But since I needed another one to do my makeup for tomorrow, I was like, let me just buy one because I still like it and um, I don't think I'll get to washing my brushes by tomorrow. So judge me all you want, but I got a new sponge. It's only $3.99. These I actually truly, truly recommend because they're freaking amazing. I have a green one, an orange one. No, green one, a purple one, and now I have two pink ones because they're just bomb. Like this is a sponge that I truly feel is such an amazing sponge and it's so underrated at the drugstore. Um... And I told you guys, I compare it a lot to the Beauty Blender. I know some people are going to be like, Oh my gosh, Beauty Blender is so much better because it's Beauty Blender, it's $20. Yeah, the Beauty Blender is an amazing sponge. But this one definitely gives it a run for its money. And that's just my opinion. So anyways, <laughs> after I did all my little motions, um, I also got this. This is a Dr. Bronner's All-in-One Hemp Lavender Pure Castell Bar Soap. I am trying to speak fast. I am sorry. But I use the liquid to wash my brushes and my sponges. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? Wow. Like, why didn't you think of getting this instead of the liquid? This just seems more convenient to me. And they only had the lavender set, which actually smells really good. So I will let you guys know how that works. And I'm excited to wash my brushes. I'm actually one of the few, I feel, that enjoys washing my makeup brushes. It's therapeutic. Just lately, it's just too much craziness to even get into that. <laughs> then from Marshalls, I found the Tutti Frutti tw Twinkle Twinkle Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow from Too Faced. And I found the color Citrus Mistress. Oh my gosh, the color is gorgeous. I actually like the formula of their liquid eyeshadows. And I like it more that I can find them way cheaper at Marshalls. This was only $4.99. So, girl, yes. Then... I know I don't need any more liquid eyeshadows, but it, I have an addiction to makeup. I have to accept it. What do you mean palettes and liquid eyeshadows and lipsticks and glasses? It's just to Let's just cut it off there. It's just to makeup. I found the Stila um, All Fired Up Liquid Eyeshadow Kit. Remember, I think in my previous haul, I showed you guys the liquid lipstick set. I was looking for this one, and I only found that one. Um, it was $12.99 at Marshalls. They are raising the price, which annoying, but I mean, I get it. They have all the good stuff at Marshalls, and people literally go hunting for these. And I'm one of those people. <laughs> so yeah, it has these three colors. They are colors that I don't own, which is why I wanted. It has Sunset Fire, Follow the Sun, and Burnish Sienna. So, score either way. I think a lot of the OGs will probably remember these Victoria's Secret lip glosses. Like, girl, I had these and I thought I was so fabulous with my little mascara and my glosses from Victoria's Secret when I was like 14, 15. Like, I thought I was so cool. And I wanted to collect them all. You know, the packaging was different back then, a little different. 
like the front of the packaging and stuff but like these are og glosses like this is what i started with this was my lipstick that i was like oh my gosh i'm wearing makeup um so yeah we we have to bring them back i want to bring them back <laughs> all right let's continue with some orders that i did on cyber monday now i was excited for this one because there's things that I wanted to try from these specific brands and some things that I did look for in store and I didn't find them. So Cyber Monday was the day to get them. I'm going to start off with Physicians Formula. I was looking for this palette in particular at CVS because that's where they said it was available and I didn't find it. So I was like, you know what? They have it available. They have a sale. Let's do it. This is a Rosé All Play Eyeshadow Bouquet Palette. And I wanted it because people were comparing it to the, uh, what is it, Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Let me know if you guys would like to see another comparison to that palette. Or if you guys just want to see like a tutorial review using the palette. Um, it doesn't have the same amount of eyeshadows as the, the nude. But we can definitely check it out and see what this palette's all about. I love the packaging. I mean, the rose detail and all that, so cute. And then I also purchased a Rose All Day Petal Glow Highlighter, which this is my favorite. Well, not this color, the highlighter. This is the color Soft Petal, and I have freshly picked already, so I was excited to get a new one. <clears throat> and then I picked up two palettes. Now, I'm so happy they did palettes like this, like face palettes, because I purchased one, I think, at the beginning of the year, and it was just so big and bulky that I feel like I didn't reach for it as much because it was just too annoying to pull out every time I needed to use just the highlighter. This is much more convenient. This is the highlighter palette, and these are limited edition. This one has all highlighters, which I'm digging all of them, and I'm so excited. I actually really like the formula of their highlighters, the ones they did in their palettes, and these individual rose ones. Bomb. And then this is the Glow Face palette, and this is also limited edition. This says it has a, an exclusive shade. So this is a highlighter, blush, and bronzer. Their bronzers are amazing. So buttery. Their butter bronzers, so buttery. So I'm excited for the blush and the highlighter as well. Oh, but let's continue on with Milani, which I bought blushes from. Two blushes. Now, this one is an OG that I gave away. Why? I don't remember, but I bought it again. This is Berry Amore. I would say Berry Amore. That's what I used to call it. And this is one of their baked blushes. This is my absolute favorite shade that I ever bought from them. And my favorite like blush from the drugstore. I just, I couldn't, when I used it, I was like, why did I ever give this away? Like I miss this so much. Um, so yeah, I was so excited to buy this one. These, if you're looking for a good blush and you don't want to spend a lot of money, these are it, girl. Like, I 100% these are it. The baked blushes just give a different sheen and glow to your skin instead of, like, a matte blush. I, I just, I love these. Love, 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 love. And then I got another blush. Why? Because I wanted to try these. I don't know. It just seemed interesting. This is the Berry Rays Color Harmony Blush Palette, which I will be mixing all the colors because it's, it just doesn't seem... Like, it'll be convenient to try and get this tiny color down here. I don't know. I'm just excited to try it out. Now, my main reason for this order was honestly for this Milani palette. The gold, Gilded Gold palette. Which I am very excited for. Like, very. Especially those two colors right here. This gold and this teal. Ooh, girl. I'm so excited. Like, so, so excited. Uh, I also want to see the formula of their eyeshadows. I've never tried a Milani palette, like, eyeshadow-wise. So I'm excited to try this one out. It's so cute, compact, and just convenient. I... It, it got me. And then, I already talked about these, but this is part of this haul. Um, Milani Ludicrous Lip Glosses. Get on it ASAP. Oh my gosh, I cannot say enough good stuff about these already. They're in my favorites, my, my November favorites, because they're just, they're so amazing. Like, the first time I used it, I was sold. I was like, these are amazing. So I have the colors um, Milani Gold, which is a clear gloss with a lot of gold reflex, but it doesn't look like like crazy metallic gold. It's more just little gold flecks. Um, 
These, I swear to you guys, are amazing. These are the Ludicrous Lip Glosses. And this is the color She's All That. <laughs> and I can't say that name without going, She's All That. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm a little too excited. But I also got this little cute ass little gift from my purchase. And I was like, yes, girl, because look at what I got. I got another blush that I've always wanted to try, but I just felt like maybe it was too peachy, but I got it in a, like a baby size. This is Luminoso. Look at this size difference. Oh my gosh. When I saw this, I was like, yes, like I can't believe it's this blush. Now I get to try it out. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's another baked blush and I can't wait to use it. They also sent the cutest little baby make it last uh, setting spray. Here's the regular size. So you can see I'm halfway. So once I use it, I have this one. So happy for that. Next we have Artist Couture, which I love their loose high highlighters. This one, I placed this order specifically because Miss Orpha did kind of another little collab with them. She basically curated this little set kit um, of her favorite products and I got one of the signed cards. Girl, I was fangirl fangirling. Look at how gorgeous she is. Ugh, her makeup is just everything. She is just stunning. So this is a box of her favorites from Artist Couture. And first of all, this cute ass little pouch. It's gold. It has little flecks of glitter on it. And then has this chain up here. I will definitely, obviously always the wrong side. I will definitely be carrying this in my bag, you know, with lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses. This is such a cute bag to carry and the stuff in here are so cute I wanted a lot of the things that you know she chose for her set which is another reason why I wanted to buy it in the little bag we did have these two highlighter brushes this one specifically is what I'm excited for oh, you guys see that will be such a perfect highlighter brush and this one I like that it's not too flimsy it's a little more stiff which I personally like that because I feel like oh yeah perfect it's going to be perfect to apply highlighters oh, I'm already excited we got a diamond lights finisher in the color icy girl I have another one right here which is spotlight glitz and I'm already obsessed with these so I wanted another color bang 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 we got it and then we got, and that's a full size. We got a full size Diamond Glow Powder in Gold Digger. And these are the products that I was most excited for, which are the lip glosses. He came, he brought back the 2.0 Uncensored glosses. I never had the chance to buy them. Um, but this is like, Orpha calls it the sluttiest nude. And this is literally the nudest nude lip gloss that I own in my collection now and I'm so excited and this is uncensored 2.0 and then we have a uh, diamond lip tease and this is in the color climax <laughs> I love the name uh and I'm excited for these I wanted to try his glosses for a while now this is such a gorgeous peachy like gold shade Ugh, I'm so excited and then these baby products like these are the cutest things ever. We have an Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder, which I do own, I love, but having a baby one is just so cute. And then this one, this one took me out. This is another Diamond Lip Tease in the color Sugar Baby. When I saw the size of this, I was like, stop it. Look at that little lip gloss. So this is the regular size. That is just so cute. Congrats to Orpha, you know, girl. I'm still over here fangirling. Uh, and yeah, so I'm excited to use those products, especially those slutty nudes and, you know, live my best life. So let's move on to ColourPop because I did two orders. I did two orders. <laughs> I placed two orders. The first one, um, you guys know I always buy a brow pencil from ColourPop for because I don't have eyebrows currently and I need these. So here's my, my brow for this order, my brow pencil. Um, I placed an order for two palettes that I was very interested in. First is Good as Gold. And this is such a gorgeous gold palette. The butterflies are coming back and I'm all here for it. Who remembers the little butterfly clips that we, uh, well, at least I used to put in my little um, chonguitos that I used to do, like a net. Uh, I'm just, I'm excited for all that. This is a Good as Gold palette and... Look at that big ass butterfly. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. 
And then I also, from the same collection, I got two of their metallic liquid liners. I got the color Gold Rush and the Rose Standard. <clears throat> They're super cute. It's on the same butterfly packaging. And I'm excited to use these. Super pretty. Lastly, from this order, I bought the Bare Necessities palette, which now, on December 26th, ColourPop is launching another one that is like all warm, gorgeous, orange, berry shades in this size, and I want it, and I don't need it, but I want it. This one is absolutely freaking stunning. Like, I love this one. You know, I really like the color story, the color family, and everything. I probably do have a lot of brown shades in other palettes, but I just really like this one and I wanted it. Let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial or review what you guys want to see. This next collection, I'm just going to talk about it very quickly because I want to do a whole video for it, like for sure. This is the Hola Chola collection from ColourPop. I wasn't able to get the PR kit which I really, really, really wanted it, but I still got the whole collection. And I was most excited for the Very Cherry Roller Gloss. Like, I've been waiting for a brand to bring this back, and who better than ColourPop? Because they did a pretty amazing freaking job with this. Who remembers these? Buying them at the Tindita, the little fashion store. They used to go with your with your mom. I used to go with my mom. Or the Swap Me, a Pulga, um... These were everything, and I'm so glad that they brought them back. Like, I'm so excited for this. So it comes with an eyeliner, the palette, the packaging is just, ugh, I can't even deal. Two bronzers and three lip kits, which has a liquid lipstick and a lip liner. Look at that writing. Ugh, it says, this one's Traviesa. I'm, I'm just so excited for this. So you guys will definitely be seeing a look, a video, a whole ass look video with that. Even if it's in the new year, the beginning of the year, it gives ColourPop time to have the products back in stock if they're going to be back in stock. Let's move on to PR. And that's what I have left. So let's move very quickly so this won't be even longer than what it already is. I hope you guys are still here. First, we have from Alter Ego, Shop Alter Ego. You guys know they do a lot of dupe palettes for very pricey palettes. Now, <clears throat> specifically lately, I feel like they've been duping a lot of Natasha Denona palettes, and this is one of those. This is one I am so excited for, like so excited for. I was going to say literally, but every time I say literally, someone in the comments is like, you and your literally... You literally know who you are. <laughs> so I'm excited for this one. And I'm just going to say it in Spanish because it just does not flow out correctly in English from my mouth. Why? I don't know. This is the Aurora palette. Aurora. Aurora. No. Aurora. Aurora. We're going to say it in Spanish. Moving on, we have Trend Beauty. And they sent over some palettes. Super, super cute. And you guys know their palettes are super affordable. They're $12.50. Um, they also have a code going on, which is Trendy Babe. And you can buy two palettes and they get and get one free. The first one we have right here is a highlighter palette. And this is called Heavenly Hues. And it's just so, so pretty. I'm so excited for this. Like, all me. Do I need more highlighters? No. Am I excited? Hell yeah. Then we have this one, which is the glitter palette. This is the one I was actually looking forward to and excited for. I was actually going to buy it. And I mean, in a way, I'm glad I didn't because they send it over. And girl, I am going to use this. I am so pumped for these glitters, specifically this one. Like, <sighs> glitters just make me happy. And then we have these other two palettes. We have uh, Electric and Spectrum. Super cute packaging. Then we have pixie beauty they always they sh they always shock me with their packaging this is glow tonic the original look at that we have their glow tonic in a jumbo jumbo size and i couldn't be happier do you guys see my name on there i saw my name and i was like so shook this is one of my favorite products from them. Honestly, I've told you guys, I've talked about it in a lot of favorites, and I, I just truly like the product, and I use it religiously every night. 
I have one of these little ones that I'm almost out of. So I was so excited to see this huge honker. It is a huge one. Like here's a size <laughs> difference. It's a huge one. And they even included a pump, which so freaking amazing to have a pump for this huge ass bottle that I don't have to be like and pour it all over myself because knowing me, that's probably what would happen. I also kind of don't want to use it. I want to keep it for keepsakes because it has my name and everything. But, you know, I'm going to use it for other things. I really like it. And then they included these two, which are their regular size glow tonics with little cards that you can, like, give them away. Little tags. So cute. So All cool. right. We're almost at the end of the road. We have this one here, which is from Pop Beauty. Their Kiss and Sip Pop Perfect Pout. That's a mouthful or a tongue twister. Look at this packaging. I mean, when I saw this, guys, at my door, I was like, that is not for me. Like, are you sure? Like, this is still something that I'm not used to getting a PR package, especially this massive with all these products. <laughs> these like, are their liquid lipsticks, and they send two little, um, like, wine cups, glasses. They're not glasses. They're plastic, which I love because... They're cute and I won't break them. But they have six new shades of their permanent pout, which is a perfect velvety matte lip paint for your pop perfect pout. <sighs> Tongue twister. Um, so I'm excited. Those six shades at the top are their new shades and the three bottom ones are their favorites, their fan favorites, which I'm excited to try these. I've heard a lot of great things about their liquid lipsticks. We have something from Real Her. You guys know they're one of my favorite brands. They sent over their new Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek Trio. Their highlighters are one of my favorites, something I love so, so much. This is just so cute. Look at the packaging. It has that marble look to it with the rose gold letters. Look at that marble print. So beautiful. Like this palette is gorgeous. I have already used it, which is why it's out of the box and it's used. I love it already. The highlighter is absolutely stunning. Look at that glow. Ugh. I just love their highlighter so, so much. They did include a little pouch, but I'm already using that. Thank you so much. And these two brushes, which they are a little dirty, sorry, but I have been using them. This has become my favorite highlighter brush. I actually use it today. It's just so beautiful to pop on highlight like this. This is a perfect blush or contour brush. I use it for contour personally, and it works out beautiful. It gives me the, the just the perfect contour. I love it so much. So that's basically it. I know it was a long one. I know it was a lot. I will not let it pile up this much in the upcoming year because I know. It gets long. Let me know what were your favorite products, what products you want to see a videos of ASAP. Let me know if you want like me to try the Milani products in a video, like specifically the Physician Formula products in a video, or if you would like me to do just like a mishmash of trying a lot of the different products in one video, like trying out new makeup, um, doing a full tutorial. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Also, Fashion Fridays will be coming back in the new year. I promise they will be coming back. I know a lot of you have asked and have messaged me like, where are the Fashion Friday videos? It's just been a lot, you know, this ending of the year has been a lot and it just didn't fit into my schedule basically to, to keep doing them. Also, the rain and it being cold, sometimes I was just like, you know, I don't want to go out. It's too cold. But also, you know, everything else, Christmas, Thanksgiving, it just becomes a lot, especially when family comes over and, you know, all that jazz. But the new year, they're coming back. It's going to be in my schedule already. Promise. Yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for your support all this year. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If this is my last video, happy new year and no, Merry Christmas and then Happy New Year and I will see you guys in 2020. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this, clapping. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like always, I will see you all in the next year. Bye.